And let's see if this one will look better. <laughs> Not sponsored by Starbucks. Raise your hand in mine, I'll leave when I wanna. <sighs> Why do there have to be so many effing bugs there? Hello people and welcome to my web show thing. What? <laughs> oh god, this is already turning out great, isn't it? Ah! So I'm out in the wilderness and there's literally bugs everywhere. And if one lands on my lens, oh my god. Oh my god. This may be shorter than I had wanted it to be. They're flying all around me. I can feel them on me. <laughs> my name is Noelle McKee. If you have seen my face before, what are you doing back? And if you are new here, run for your life. Because this... I'm really not that interesting, to be honest. So. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I have been... Dealing with a very, very intense semester of school. It sucked, but I have a week left and then finals week and then done. So, um, I'm gonna try to get back to this because I'll actually have time, first of all. Like, I won't feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying right now because of all these bugs. Oh my god, this was not a good I Did I just get one in my. Okay, no, I didn't. I thought one got in my eye. Where was I? Right. So, I see one landed on the line. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, so I ended up moving to my car to not deal with the bugs because I was just ridiculously stupid. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, so semester's almost over. Um, gonna have more time. So here I am. Um, so this week I'm going to talk about the Alternative Press Music Awards, APMAs, that are coming up this year. And um, if you didn't see, you can vote now. Um, just on their website. I don't remember when voting started, but it did start. So if you haven't looked at any of the nominations, um, just do it. Just vote. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on the APMAs this year. So, best vocalist. I'm not going to pronounce all the names because I know I won't get all of them right. So, Neck Deep, Set It Off, State Champs, The Main, Every Time I Die, and Paris. Um... So out of all of those, either Ben Barlow from Neck Deep or Lynn Gunn from Paris, um, I picked those two just because Lynn Gunn is very fucking talented and I like Neck Deep, so, and I like Ben's voice, so, yeah. And just so you guys know, I don't know how you guys vote for this or, like, if you guys actually vote off of talent or who you think, like, who's your favorite band. Not gonna lie, I'm basic. See, I'm basic. Um, yeah. And, um, I don't know. I kind of vote, base my votes on what the band I like best. So... Hey, hate on me for that if you want. Although, 
I haven't had a hater yet. Maybe someone will finally roast me. No, I'm just kidding. Don't don't roast me. My feelings are very fragile. Um Best drummer we have Hailstorm. Uh Night versus Good Charlotte, Sum 41, Dance Gavin Dance, and Machine Gun Kelly. I pick Sum 41 for that. Just be yeah, just because, yeah. Um, best bassist we have Architects, I the Mighty, No Effects, Corn, State Champs, and Deftones. I honestly don't remember who I picked for that. Maybe Architects. I don't know. Sure, we'll go with them. <laughs> um, best guitarist we have. Ben from the Dillinger Escape Plan, Claudio from Coheed and Cambria, Jordan from Every Time I Die, Reba from Code Orange, Steve Minoyan from I Prevail, and Te with Thrice. Who's from Thrice? I'm not even pronouncing that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the sun keeps like going in my eyes. Um, I think I yeah I chose I Prevail for that because really I, honestly I Prevail is the only band that I listen to out of all those so yeah. Okay, uh, for most dedicated fan base, uh, there's Melanie Martinez, Motionless and White, Paramore, Paris, Sleeping with Sirens, and Twenty One Pilots. Um, let's be honest. 21 Pilots fans probably are the most dedicated, but a lot of them are crazy, so I picked Sleeping With Sirens for that. Although I like Melanie Martinez too, though, so, yeah. Song of the Year, um, Paranoia by A Day To Remember, We Don't Have To Dance by Andy Black, Circles by Pierce The Veil, Alpha Omega by Machine Gun Kelly, Mess by Real Friends, and Stupid For You by Waterparks. Um, I picked Circles by Pierce the Veil just because I really, really, really enjoyed that song. So, that's that. Uh, best Underground Band, we have Broadside, Knock Loose, Movements, Palais Royale, Silent Planet, and With Confidence. Um, I chose Silent Planet for that just because out of all those bands, are honestly, Silent Planet is the band I listen to the most. So, there's that. Um... Breakthrough brand, Avatar, Creeper, Ice Nine Kills, Moose Blood, One OK Rock, and Water Parks. Of course, I picked Ice Nine Kills for that. They're in my top seven. Um, more like my top three, actually. Um, I love them. I've seen them so many times. I just think they're all like an all-around awesome band. So I picked Ice Nine Kills for that. Best hard rock artist, we've got Bullet for My Valentine, Hailstorm, Highly Suspect in This Moment, Corn, and The Pretty Reckless. Um, chose the Pre-Reckless for that just because they're my favorite out of them. Like, I, I love the Pre-Reckless. I love Taylor Momsen so much. Like, <laughs> I'd marry her. So I chose her, or them, <laughs> yikes, <laughs> for that. Um, best live band, Beartooth, Dance Gavin Dance, Falling in Reverse, In This Moment, Issues, and No Effects. Um, so for that one, I chose Issues just because, again, Issues is in my top seven bands. I love Issues. Um, to be honest, the band, the only bands I've seen live out of these guys are Beartooth, Falling in Reverse, and Issues. Um, Beartooth, I saw them once. I mean, they were good. Well, that made a noise and it freaked me out. But I really liked Issues too, so, and I love Issues, and let's be honest, um, Ronnie Raggy doesn't deserve an award, so sorry, but, okay, best music video, now this one I'm really excited for because, um, this actually has one of my two favorite bands in this, so I'm really, really hype about this one, okay. So, for best music video, um, Blood Feather by Highly Suspect, Calm Snell by Icy Stars, Insane by Korn, This Light I Hold by Memphis Mayfire, Losing Myself by State Champs, and Fake My Own Death by Sum 41. So, obviously, I picked 
Com so by Icy Stars for this. Not just because, like, they're my favorite band, and not just because, um, I love that song. It's because I think that music video, like, legit freaking deserves it. It's a... If you haven't seen this, you need to go see this. Um, I'll put a link to the music video in my description. It's, it's such a good music video. Like, it just... I think it, it, it captures the, like, the whole song perfectly, and they deserve it. There's just no getting around it. They deserve it. Um, best new artist music video. Uh, we have Blood in the Cut by K Flay, Sleep in the Heat by Pup, Palm Trees by Swimmers. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Common Cold by Tiny Moving Parts, Don't Be Nice by Watsky, and Voldemort by With Confidence. I don't know any of those songs, but I know Watsky, so I voted Watsky for that. Sue me. Um, Artist of the Year, presented by Monster Energy. We have Day to Remember, Blink-182, Fall Out Boy, Good Charlotte, Green Day, Machine Gun Kelly, Panic at the Disco, Pierce the Veil, Sum 41, and The Pretty Reckless. Um, I chose Blink-182 because I, I love, I love, love, love their songs. I love, I lo just, I love their music. And I know people are like, well, Blink what new Blink-182 sucks. Okay, but it really doesn't though, so... And like, dude, Blink-182 is a freaking classic. Like, bruh, and hello, Mark Hoppus, Travis Barker, like, bruh. Th Blink-182. And last but not least is Albie album of the year so there is the shadows side by andy black limitless by tonight alive all our gods have abandoned us by architects chaos by attila aggressive by bear tooth low teens by every time i die lifelines by i prevail blush by moose blood misadventures by pierce the veil and double dare by water parks i chose pierce the veil for that one um you know, I liked I liked Misadventures as a whole. I thought it was kind of like new, like d definitely different co from Clyde with the Sky, but it still had the same Pierce the Veil sound. And I just I, I love Pierce the Veil, and I think they write incredible m music. So I picked them. Um. Most importantly, though, make sure you go out and vote, because <sighs> support your favorite bands, man. Even if you don't really know any of the bands on there, well, I guess whatever, then if you don't know any of the bands on there, right? Uh, um, so yeah, that was all I had to say about the APMAs. Um, one more thing, though, actually, before I move on from that. I definitely will be at the APMAs this year. Like, I am going no matter what. There's nothing stopping me from going. I don't care. <laughs> um, it's in Cleveland, Ohio, and I, I live in Central PA, if you don't know that. So, I am roughly five, six hours-ish from Cleveland. So... I don't see why I shouldn't go this year. So, yeah. There will definitely be a lot of stuff on that. So, stay tuned for that. Um, now, my next topic for this video is speaking of music and, you know, all that. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... So, I have a kind of a little story for you guys. Because I can't do story time without. I. Wait, whoa. I can't do videos without story time. So, let me tell you guys about how freaking weird I am. Um. 
when I, okay, bruh, a week ago, I went to Michigan, and Saturday, while we were in Michigan, we were driving to Detroit, and my friends were listening to a Jason Mraz song, and when I was seven years old, I was like legit in love with Jason Mraz. Especially his song, The Remedy. Which I'm sure you guys remember that song. It was, that was my, that was my jam. Um, so I asked them to play that. And I was like jamming the heck out to that song. And I just like kind of thought about how seven year old me was like in love with Jason Mraz. And then I realized that 22 year old me is still in love with Jason Mraz. Like, like I would marry him without a doubt. Seven year old me would have married him without a doubt. I'm 22 years old and I've had a crush on Jason Mraz for 15 years of my life. If that's not a dedication, I don't know what is. I mean, you know, to be honest, since I've had a crush on him for 15 years, I think I deserve it, like marrying him. You know what, I'm gonna shut up about it before I say something like really odd. <laughs> I've had a crush on Jason Mraz for 15 years. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that's all I really have to say about that. That was a really lame story, I'm sorry. I'll come I'll have more stories for you next weekend don't worry um so yeah that's all I really have to say for this video uh, make sure you follow me on Facebook snapchat Instagram Twitter tumblr yeah those because that's all I have I feel like I have more but yeah um make sure to smash the friggin heck out of that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see my weird videos every weekend and hear about all my shenanigans. Um, yeah, so that's everything. See you guys next weekend. Peace out.